Hey what's up everyone, City and Technology News here and today I am going to be talking to you about Ebola. So yes, I'm talking about the virus. I know this is a pretty unusual topic for my channel and you may be wondering why I'm even doing this, but I just thought that since Ebola is such a relevant and current issue and it's been in the news so much this year, I thought it would be helpful to just basically make a video explaining everything you should know about Ebola and you know, what's relevant, what's not so relevant and whether you should actually be scared of this disease. So let's go ahead and get going. So if you don't know what Ebola is, and you know at this point I find that hard to believe, it's basically a really deadly fever that's become really common in West Africa, but the problem is it has a really high mortality rate. 90% of the people who get Ebola die, and that's obviously not really good for any sort of disease. There's been a lot of concern this year about whether Ebola could go rampant worldwide, creating sort of a worldwide pandemic that would sort of have the effects of you know one of the apps like Plague Inc. to where it would actually wipe out the human race. And I mean, that's really, really far-fetched and it's not going to happen, but Ebola is a somewhat serious threat. So Ebola has been really common in three West African nations, Sierra Leone, Liberia, and Guinea. In all three of those nations, thousands of people have come down with Ebola, and like I already said, 90% of these people have died. There hasn't really been a really effective way at treating this disease yet, and that is a problem. Now so far, Ebola hasn't spread to as many other nations as it could have, but it does have the potential to grow a lot further. It has already spread to some other African nations like Nigeria and Mali, it's come to Europe, to Spain, and it has even come to the United States where I live, so it's definitely not a really great thing, and it could have the potential to spread even further. Until there's an effective vaccine or treatment for this disease, I am afraid that Ebola is a pretty serious threat. So Ebola is basically a fever, as I already said. Um, if you're exposed to Ebola, the problem is you don't generally come down with symptoms until up to 21 days after, and that can be a problem for actually tracking Ebola patients because someone can be exposed to Ebola but not actually show any signs of the disease until after they have the chance to infect a lot of other people. Now, Ebola is technically only spread through contact with uh, the infected person's bodily fluids. It's not actually airborne or waterborne or anything along those lines, but it can be a little bit contagious just because if like an infected person sneezes and you're exposed to the droplets of their sneeze, you can contract Ebola. It's not just like if you get a blood transplant or if you get really personal with someone, you can get Ebola from more casual contact than just that. Now, some really depressing statistics is that a lot of doctors who have dedicated their lives to studying Ebola have died of the disease, and you know, as of right now, a lot of doctors who have gone to West Africa to try and help treat the disease have come down with it themselves. Now, here where I live in the United States, there have only been four cases of Ebola so far. Uh, two cases are confirmed, two cases are hypothetical, and there are also a number of other cases that people were worried that people had Ebola, but it turned out not to actually be the case. There's been a lot of debate about what the best ways of treating Ebola are, since there isn't a vaccine for it right now, and also how to stop the spread of the disease, because obviously we don't want a lot of West African people with this disease coming to other nations and spreading Ebola worldwide. Now, a lot of people have been talking about a travel ban from West Africa to where people would not actually be allowed to leave West Africa and come especially directly to the United States, but there are some problems with this. You know, the most obvious problem is that people can easily just avoid that by going through another continent like Europe and then coming to the United States, so Ebola can spread here just as easily that way. Now, quarantines have also been suggested as an effective method of treating Ebola, but the actual doctors and scientists don't recommend this so much because it isn't that effective and it does have some possible human rights violations. Governors in New York and New Jersey have gotten in trouble for their implementation of Ebola quarantine measures, so again, I don't think that this is the most effective method. Now, you might be wondering why there isn't actually an Ebola vaccine right now, and that's just because up until 2014, Ebola hadn't actually been an issue. You know, the, the companies who dedicate their work to you know finding new vaccines and finding treatments for new diseases just didn't consider the Ebola that high a priority because it wasn't actually getting that much exposure even in West Africa, basically where its environment is. So up until now, Ebola just hasn't been a threat and doctors just haven't been treating it very seriously. But you know, as far as whether you should be worried about contracting Ebola, I don't think there's much cause for concern right now, especially if you do live in a, a Western a Western country like in the North America, South America, or Europe. All three of those continents are pretty safe right now, and you know, unless something really scary happens to where Ebola does start to mutate and go airborne or waterborne, 
I don't think there's too much to worry about. With that said, getting Ebola under control is a big priority because as of right now, every Ebola patient on average spreads it to two more people before they die or are healed themselves. So Ebola is still spreading faster than it's being treated. But anyways, I hope this answers a couple questions that you might have had about Ebola. It is a very deadly disease and it's definitely not a great thing, but as of right now, there's still not that much cause for concern. So anyways, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you want to see more content like this on my channel, and I will see you next time.